Good news! Live streamer Jack Doherty crashed his supercar while speeding down a highway in the rain and reading his chat on his phone. The bad news is he did survive. Fortunately, the safety rail that did its best to improve kick was also unharmed. Mostly because Jack's security guard wasn't around to hospitalize it for daring to be in their way. Now, Jack has been banned from kick, which according to the Guinness Book of World Records is the first time a streaming platform has ever made a good decision. I'm Lewis Spears. Welcome back Back to Lou Review. Like, subscribe, and let's break it down. Just when you thought kick streamers couldn't get any worse, we've got Jack Doherty endangering lives on the road during a hurricane. Whoa. Whoa. No. Hey, just quickly, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been liking and commenting on the videos and subscribing. The subscribers are going through the roof, and that, I think, is because of my hypothesis that commentary should be funny. I'm trying to fuse stand-up comedy with commentary to entertain you guys, and it seems to be resonating, so thank you so much. I love all this YouTube drama stuff, but I know that it doesn't matter, and I'm sick of all of these YouTube drama channels treating... I don't know, streamers having arguments like it's true crime, all right? We're here for the jokes, we're here for the laughs. If that's you, like, subscribe, stick around. Because it's clearly not for everyone. Have a look at this comment. Are you seriously joking about a terrorist attack that killed thousands of people a few days before its anniversary? Yes, welcome to the channel. If you can't handle it, go away. If you can, welcome aboard. Oh my God, bro, I can't believe this is happening. Oh my. This man is so dumb that he decided to take a supercar out onto a highway in the rain and floor it while overtaking people, speeding and not even looking at the road, just texting and driving, paying attention to his chat. Is it any wonder that straight after that happened, this happened? Oh! Oh! No! 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 Dude. Dude, that's terrifying. Keep in mind that there's someone else in his car. Right before the crash, you can actually hear him accelerate. Like, he's trying to go even faster than he already was going. It looks like he was going over 70 miles an hour on the road. Everyone else is clearly going much slower than he is. And uh, he spins out, loses control of the car, and crashes. He's lucky to be alive, and he's lucky he didn't kill his cameraman or somebody else on the road. Oh, my fucking but as you can see from his reaction to his very injured friend, Jack Doherty doesn't care about anyone but himself. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Oh, Michael. Are you okay? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Michael, are you okay? And Michael looks like he's just stepped out of a World War I trench. Dude is... Bleeding from the face. I don't think I, I can even show you what he looks like, but he doesn't look good. But what happens when you get into a car crash and you're severely injured after dislocating your arm? If your boss tells you to film, you suck it up and you film. Oh my gosh. There's no fucking... Michael, here. Michael, do you have your film on that phone too? Michael's walking around like in a daze, in complete shock, going, oh my God, is, is anything broken? Do I have a concussion? And he's just like, here, Michael, film. Film on the other phone too. I need, I need you to dual reel cameras for me because I'm totally fine, but oh no, my incredibly ugly McLaren has been trashed, so I need you to film my reaction. It'll be a good for the clip. Have you ever seen a more clear example of just sociopathic behavior? This is absolutely nuts, dude. Also, I don't know why he's so upset about his car being damaged. Look at the paint job on that thing. That thing was garbage before you drove it into a fucking wall, bro. That sucks. I couldn't imagine anything more embarrassing than dying in a car that looks like it got attacked by Down Syndrome Banksy. <laughs> Scratch that. There is one thing more embarrassing, being Jack Doherty. Bro, my whole f car, bro. Oh. No f way. God, these guys are lucky to be alive. Look at the front of this car. I'm surprised that they've managed to get out with their legs unsnapped. I don't know if that car was made incredibly safely or if they were just really, really lucky, but I would expect looking at a car wreck like that for someone to die, but no one has, thank God. Help, help, help! Break the fucking window! He's 
another angle from inside the car, which it's just crazy that there are multiple angles from before they've even made sure that they're alive. You know what I mean? Like the first thing they did was pull out multiple recording devices to start filming before even checking if anyone was seriously hurt. And in this video, you can tell that Michael, the cameraman, his whole shoulder is dislocated and he smashed his face on the front of the car. The right side of the car is the car that got hit worse by the barricade and that's where Michael's sitting but Jack is too preoccupied with filming his escape from a car than making sure his friend who he endangered is alive oh. Oh. help oh fuck can you hold this oh, buddy. oh fuck oh no. oh my god the first thing he says is oh my god film this to just like good Samaritans that are trying to help. These guys seemingly don't seem to speak English and he's just screaming at them to hold his fucking phone to film himself being extracted from the car while again, his friend is being ignored. <laughs> Michael, you got to sue him. Please, for the love of God, you got to sue this man. This guy is not your friend. If you get into trouble like this and your boss isn't even pretending to give a fuck about your physical safety, he's not your friend. He's a terrible boss. He endangered you and put you in this situation and doesn't care about you. I would imagine that Jack's going to make a big deal out of visiting his friend in the hospital and paying for his medical bills. But all of that will just be to guilt trip you into not suing him for almost killing you and then not caring. You gotta sue him, bro. Get the bag, brother. Get the bag. Car, bro. Vamos, baby. Vamos, oh. Oh. Fuck, dude. My fucking car. Holy shit, no. Dude, I cannot stress to you enough. Again, I'm repeating myself, but Michael is still trapped in the car and Jack's on the outside going, no, my car, dude, no, my McLaren. Oh no, dude, my car. Could you imagine that being the last thing you hear as you bleed out on the road? Fuck, dude, my fucking car. Holy shit, no. Dude, if I pulled over in the middle of a fucking hurricane on a highway, very dangerous, to rescue someone from the world's ugliest McLaren, I smash the window and pull out a 20-year-old kid driving a car 10 times my wage, and he doesn't even say thank you or please help my friend, the first thing he says is, can you please film this? I'm streaming on kick. I would put him back in the car. <laughs> I would go, oh, sorry, I thought I was saving someone worth saving. Back you go. I'm going to save the cameraman you don't care about. My car is totaled, bro. <laughs> your car's totaled? Dude, your cameraman's totaled. What are you talking about? I cannot believe this guy just dislocated his shoulder three seconds ago, popped it back in, and Jack was like, great, now you've got two arms, hold the other phone. Dude, what a sociopath. This is evil behavior. I cannot believe that people are allowed to operate like this in the world and they get rewarded for it by by the tune of millions of dollars. Dude, I've never been before. Oh my God. Although I can't really criticize this guy too much because I do the same thing, man. Like when something bad happens to me, my first thought is rarely, oh, I feel sad or... Oh no, that's awful. My first thought is often, oh, is there a bit in this? Could I turn this into a joke maybe to make other people laugh? You know, it's just, it was just the same thing of like, oh, quick, I should film this. It could be a good clip. <laughs> but I wouldn't, but I wouldn't like if I got into a car crash and my mate is bleeding out on the road next to me, I wouldn't pull out a notebook and be like, hang on a second. You, have you got any good jokes about this, buddy? I would help. This is demonic. Where's my phone at? Where's my phone? I have no idea. Where's my phone? How many phones does this guy have? He's got the cameraman holding two phones. He's holding one phone already, and he's looking for another phone. How many phones are involved in this operation? Have your phone. <laughs> he just pulled out two phones from his pockets. Where, where are these phones coming from? What is this guy? Fucking Steve Jobs? No, unfortunately, Steve Jobs is the one in the ground. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh my god, bro, I can't believe this is happening. 
No, oh my. Is he, is he throwing a tantrum? I thought this guy looked like he had the body and the face of a seven-year-old, but now he's rolling around the highway going, oh, I totaled my McLaren. Not my McClary. It was my favorite paint job yet. Also, my cameraman's dead, but more importantly, I wrecked my car. Do people watch this shit? I cannot believe that an enough people watch this to fund this lifestyle. I just totaled my car. Again, as Jack throws his little tanty, I cannot stress enough how much blood was pouring out of Michael's face. I can't show it. <laughs> But while he throws a tantrum, the guy filming him is bleeding and probably concussed. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Jack. I wonder what he's going to say to the police officer. Surely he's going to tell the truth about his incredibly reckless actions that were caught on camera and not lie to the officer, right? I was just, I was driving and then I just, my tires just slipped and I lost control. And then I was no, all the way in the left side and I just went there and then... I, I just, I don't know what happened. I just lost control. The next thing you know, I'm just going tears. And I think, I don't know what happened. What do you mean you don't know what happened? This guy's talking like he's in the fucking iRobot movie. Yeah, I was just driving down the highway and then all of a sudden robots took control of my car and tried to kill me and Michael. Not that I care about Michael. I'm more upset about the car. Like, dude, we know what happened. We can see it. You were <laughs> speeding down the highway, looking at chat instead of driving in the wet, in hurricane conditions, overtaking people and accelerating on an incredibly wet road. And then when you start to spin out, you just slam on the brakes. That's crazy. Of course you smashed out like that. You're lucky to be alive, bro. This isn't a freak accident. You're a freaking idiot. You okay? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Why is everyone comforting just him? Michael. Michael. You gotta get out of this scenario. I think you might be getting used and abused. I, I imagine you get paid well and I imagine every now and then he surprises you with a Rolex and, and stupid, exciting gifts like that. But brother, your boss almost killed you and then two people showed up to comfort only him and ignore you while you bleed out and you just have to film it. It's time to sue your boss, get the bag and move on to someone who might actually care about you. Two flip and one act. Oh. My girlfriend's crying. Quick, film it. This is just sociopathic behavior at its best. This guy's just like caused the problem, scared the shit out of everyone who somehow loves him, and then is just using it as clips, as fuel to run his business where he just acts obnoxious and is the problem in every scenario, and people hate watch it so he can fill his bank account. This guy is not a good person, clearly. My birthday's in goddamn... Oh my gosh. He's worried about his car and his birthday. He almost killed his mate. <laughs> And this Medical ends with attention. Michael getting loaded into an ambulance. Jack is completely fine, but Michael's just surrounded by ambulance and medical professionals because he's obviously not. Crazy that he was allowed to film this for this long when he was clearly the one that was desperately needing to sit down and see if he was more injured than it appeared. Lost a quarter million dollar car. Well, he so that's what matters, right? Bro, you have nine cars. You'll be good. Okay, the new cameraman is trying to inject a little bit of reality into this moron's brain. Dude, you're alive, all right? That's what matters. Michael's still hurt. I'm worried about him. You have nine cars. Forgive me for not giving a fuck about one of your nine cars. You'll be fine. And Jack looks at him like, dude, how dare you? That's a very expensive car. That's one of my possessions. Thank you, all right? Michael... My other possession hasn't been totaled like my car has. That's my favorite object. Michael isn't even number 10 on the list of my favorite objects, all right? My girlfriend's lucky to make that list. <laughs> now, would you please stop trying to tell me to be appreciative of being alive? I'm trying to take fake selfies with my girlfriend where I look sad. It takes a lot of effort for a sociopath to pretend to have emotions, all right? I need to focus. Hey, Dad. Jack got in. Yeah, and? Yeah, he totaled his car. Which one? The McLaren. This, this is the call to Jack's dad. The guy's like, oh, Jack got into a car accident. The dad's like, 
okay, is he okay? And he goes, oh, yeah, the car's being totaled. The dad has to go, I don't care about the car. Is my son alive? Yes. Oh, say that first, man. Before we move on from the car crash, I just wanted to point out, have you noticed how all of the emergency responders and the Good Samaritans that came to help have all picked up on Jack's repugnant, evil, dark demonic sociopathic vibe and are just kind of face down ignoring him whenever he makes noise like they're like ah shit I wish I didn't rescue this one you know everyone's worried about Michael who seems to be a normal human (laughs) everyone's just like oh this kid's insufferable like within 30 seconds of meeting someone whose life they wanted to save they're like ah wish Wish I left him in the car. This guy is giving me a headache. Here's what Jack had to say on Twitter. Going to post a more detailed response today, but it's been 24 hours since the accident, and I just want to say how grateful I am that Michael and I are alive. I'm so sorry, Michael, for putting you through that. Sue him, Michael. Sue him. You'll win. Uh, Thank you to all the first responders and everyone who helped us get out of the car. That could have been so much worse, and it's a huge learning lesson. Something tells me that this guy is going to learn nothing from this. Community notes coming in hot with context needed. Jack was using his phone and driving at an excessive speed in the rain and he knew it. (laughs) Moving on from the crash now, I think we know how this goes. Sociopathic social media millionaire will make uh, fake attempts at pretending to care about the person who they endangered with their reckless behavior. Filming this all for social media and try to placate the person whose life they endangered with gifts and money to prevent them from suing. We've seen this before with David Dobrik. We're going to see it again right now with Jack Doherty. Oh, dude, no joke. I just checked his Twitter and yeah, (laughs) he's posting videos at the hospital with his much less injured friend wrapping himself in a blanket, pretending like he's also there getting medical care when clearly he's fine. Sue him, Michael. Take everything he's got. All right, guys, we're in the hospital after the crash. How you feeling, Michael? Amazing. He's getting stitches right now. But. Dude, the silence after he stops talking in that hospital room. You know when you really fuck up and you try and tell a joke, but everyone's still upset at you? <laughs> That's how this looks. Look at the guy's face. He's like, oh, what? No one thinks I'm cool and funny and rich, but I'm Jack Doherty. Brother, you almost killed someone. No one's going to be stoked to be in your little Instagram video. Over to his girlfriend, McKinley, now, who dropped this banger on her TikTok (laughs) about the crash. Thank you, Jesus, for keeping the one thing I need in this world safe. I love you more than words can describe, Jack, and I can't imagine what I would do if something happened to you. He might have to get a regular job. Hey, that would be terrible. God is so, so good. And then she's posted this TikTok with the caption, Why do you pray for him every day? And I assume the answer is because he's retarded and he does shit like this. (laughs) Yeah, I would be praying for him every day too if I had to be around this guy, just praying that he doesn't accidentally kill himself and his friends because obviously it's clearly likely. And of course, he's just posting all over his Instagram and social media pictures of the crash, him shirtless. He's using this as an opportunity on his Instagram stories to promote his OnlyFans, his girlfriend's OnlyFans, and a bunch of other girl who, who he manages their OnlyFans. So he's just like a, an obnoxious, sociopathic, kickstreaming pimp. And he wants us to feel sorry for him because he almost killed his mate. Sorry, brother. Not impressed. Keep in mind, for those who are unaware, this is the same kid that streams in public antagonizing strangers. And then when the strangers react to being bullied, yelled at, threatened, when they come close to him, he hides behind a giant bodyguard who then punches them in the face. This bodyguard put this dude in hospital doing this shit. And now, rightfully, Jack is getting sued. You see that, Michael? There's something you can learn from this, all right? Sue him. You watch how much this guy makes from the case. You're going to make more. Do it, brother. Sue him. Dude, a bodyguard that size punching a normal person that hard, he's lucky to be alive. Smashing his head on the back of concrete as well. People die like that all the time. That's crazy. This bodyguard is my height. All right. I'm six foot eight. I know how much bigger I am than other people. But if you then put 150 kilos on my frame and then I started swinging punches, that's a lethal weapon, man. That's crazy that he lets his bodyguard act like this.
Of course, Jack has now been banned from Kick. Not that it's going to last because this is not the first time that Jack has been banned from Kick seemingly permanently. He's been banned for doxing someone. He was unbanned shortly after. He was banned for getting into physical fights with another boring streamer. They were unbanned shortly after. And he was even banned for nudity after encouraging multiple women to flash on the stream. He was unbanned shortly after. Now he's almost killed someone and he's been banned, but we know no, he'll be back soon. Can't believe I'm saying this, but I almost feel sorry for Kick in this situation because their big streamers are all so insufferable that they somehow make Kick look worse than all the pedophiles do on Twitch. That's where I'm going to leave it, guys. I'll keep you updated on the situation as it evolves, if I can make anything funny about it. Uh, let me know what you want me to make a video on next. Uh, keep tagging me. Keep writing those comments. I am reading. I'm sorry if I can't respond to all of them. I'm doing my very best to respond to as many comments as I can, but there's been thousands recently, which I'm so appreciative of. I can promise that I'm reading all of them. I'm Lewis Spears. Thank you so much for jumping on board the big swing. We're back on YouTube. I'll talk to you in a few days. See ya.